Hey Farmates, let's review the processes involved in chemical changes. A chemical change happens when one chemical substance is transformed into one or more different substances. Chemical changes occur through the process of chemical reactions, and the resulting substances have different properties because their atoms and molecules are arranged differently. First is combustion. It is a chemical union of oxygen with another substance. It is a chemical process in which a substance reacts rapidly with oxygen and gives off heat. The original substance is called the fuel, and the source of oxygen is called the oxidizer. The fuel can be solid, liquid, or gas, although for airplane propulsion, the fuel is usually a liquid. Reduction is a chemical reaction that involves the gaining of electrons by one of the atoms involved in the chemical reaction between two chemicals. The term refers to the element that accepts electrons as oxidation state of the element that gains electron is lowered. Also, reduction happens when hydrogen is added to form a compound, such as when hydrogen and chlorine combine to form hydrochloric acid. Reduction also happens when oxygen is removed from a compound, such as when carbon dioxide forms carbon and O2, or oxygen. Neutralization occurs when acid reacts with a base, quantitatively with each other, to form salt and water. In a reaction in water, neutralization results in there being no excess of hydrogen or hydroxide ions present in the solution. Hydrolysis is any chemical reaction in which a molecule of water breaks one or more chemical bonds. The reaction of water on salt forms an acid and a base. The rate of hydrolysis depends on the pH of the solution and the temperature. The term is used broadly for substitution, elimination, solvation, in which water is the nucleophile. Saponification is a reaction between an alkali and fats or oils forming soap and glycerol, which are each soluble in aqueous solutions. Saponification is used for, by wet chemical fire extinguishers to convert burning fats and oils into non-combustible soap, which helps in extinguishing fire. Fermentation is the action of bacterial or microorganism on organic substances, resulting to the production of alcohol. It begins with a breakdown of sugar by yeast to form pyruvate molecules, which is also known as glycolysis. It occurs in the absence of oxygen, anaerobic conditions, and in the presence of beneficial microorganisms such as yeast, molds, bacteria, that obtain their energy. Now, let's review a specific type of reaction for nuclear changes. Nuclear change is the chance in the structure of properties, composition of the nucleus of an atom, resulting in the transmutation of the element into another element. Nuclear changes occur when the nuclear of atoms are rearranged to form new atoms. Examples of nuclear changes include nuclear fission and nuclear fusion.
nuclear fission, atoms are split apart, which releases energy. An example is when a neutron collides with a uranium atom and splits it, releasing a large amount of energy in the form of heat and radiation. More neutrons are also released when a uranium atom splits. Next is nuclear fusion. This is a reaction in which two light atoms unite to form a bigger molecule. For example, hydrogen nuclei fuse in stars to form the element helium. Fusion is also used to force together atomic nuclei to form the newest elements in the periodic table. In all nuclear reaction, a small amount of the mass changes to energy. Thanks for watching this video. Please share, like, and subscribe, and see you next time.